that sold me something on eBay that said, hey, it was a handwritten note from a 12 year old, you know, that said, thank you very much for your purchase. We appreciate it. And it reminded me of when I was 10 years old, except I didn't have eBay and didn't have all these options to buy singles online. So it was just, it was refreshing. So it just shows you kind of all generations. Are oh, the, 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 the hobby's exploding and the happiness is absurd. Dustin, get in here. T let's tell like Dustin, Dustin, like <laughs> Dustin, how much happiness has getting into collecting Pokemon and flipping Pokemon been for you? Hey, sports card collectors and investors. Hope everybody is doing well today. It's Thursday, almost to the end of Thursday. We're almost to the weekend, guys. We are almost there. So hang in there. Hang in there with me. Um, today I'm going to be talking about a guy that has obviously caught fire. Um, not a new story for a lot of people. And a lot of people have been telling me for months, like, yo, Dame, Dame Lillard, pay attention to him. Pay attention to him. And I've been kind of like, yeah, 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 okay. Uh, now I get it, okay? I'm paying cl much closer attention. So before I get started, if you are new here, please subscribe. We have about 185 videos at this point on the channel. Um, we've been around for about four months. I put out daily content, or at least I try to put out content every day. Sometimes though, it's twice a day, which kind of makes up for the days where there might not be a video. So I do try to keep it consistent for you guys. And so please do subscribe, uh, stick with us, and we will kind of, we'll, we'll keep it coming. So. Um, Dame Lillard, the other night, um, I am a Mavs fan and could not believe how he just, well, let me back up. I can believe how he torched the Mavs because the Mavs D has just not been good and they haven't been a clutch team down the stretch. And again, they were not a clutch team down the stretch. They lost at the last second. The Mavs kind of remind me of my Saints back in the 80s when I was watching the New Orleans Saints play. Me and my dad used to watch games in the late 80s and early 90s. And the Saints would get up, they'd get a lead, they'd be up by 14 at the half, 20 at the half, just killing them. And then they would manage to let the game slip away at the end. And the Mavs are just, they're not quite there yet. It's a young core of players. Um, they don't, I mean, it's just a young core. They're, they don't really have a lot of veteran depth, even with Porzingis and Luka playing like veterans at times. Um, and they do make a lot of big clutch shots, don't get me wrong, but just finishing games out has been an issue. And the Trailblazers squeaked by them uh, the other night on the back of 61 points by Lillard. And he's done it, what, five times already this year? So the guy is a scoring machine. The, the way these guys shoot the ball in today's NBA just is completely mind-boggling. It makes guys like, like Steph Curry that have been doing it it makes them look ordinary. You almost get used to this type of scoring to where it just does not make any sense. Um, you know, so again, Lillard had a monster game. Um, and I want to talk about his card prices a little bit because this, this is going to make you cry a little bit. If you go back 90 days, and it's making me cry that I didn't jump on it earlier. Um, you know, and him and Devin Booker are those two guys that have been lighting it up uh, during the restart and their prices have gone insane. But I'm going to talk about uh, Lillard's Prism rookie card. And then I'm also going to talk about his Select rookie card. Select is kind of that underrated set. And I personally, I like the way that the Select cards look better than, than the Prism rookies. I think they look awesome. And so um, we're going to take a look first at his, his, Prism, uh, his Prism rookie card. And this is a, this is now, it's now a very popular card, but this is kind of that go-to card that, that everybody wants. But you know what? Part of the reason why this pricing is insane is because there's just not that many of them. Um, I mean, if you look at po the pop report for a PSA 10, there's only 529 in existence. And I'm sure that there's probably people that are scrambling now to go back through their binders and go back through their boxes to find these Lillard rookies to get them off to PSA. I'm sure there's a lot of people that are put putting these through on what the five day service or the 24 hour service or whatever. When you see that a, that a uh, PSA 10 at the end of May was selling at $350 to $450. I'll put a screenshot up. Can you, $350 to 450 bucks, if you think about what they are now. So, and for those that haven't been following along, guess what they are now? Almost 10 times that, almost, maybe eight times. They're at $2,650 to $2,850 is what they're selling for now. So, an absolutely monstrous jump in price for, for Lillard's PSA 10s. And we talked about this in my last video. 
I was talking about veterans, you know, because, and I understand, I'm, I, you know, I'm talking about rookie cards, but I'm also talking about some of the newer sets and some of the numbered, some of the numbered parallels and the newer sets. That's where my focus has been. But man, these rookie cards, they, they have absolutely just jumped over the last 90 days and really even over the last 30 and 60 days. It's not even 90. Um, so yeah, that PSA 10 Prism has just absolutely skyrocketed along with all you know the other guys in the set, Kawhi and the rest of the gang, that rookie class um, that has just gone absolutely ballistic. Now PSA 9s, you might be looking down at PSA 9 because that's usually where I go. If PSA 10 skyrocketed, PSA 9 is where I'll take a look. So uh, pop report on PSA 9s, 265. Just really not many of them out there. Not many PSA 9s. And they have absolutely skyrocketed too. They're in the $900 range. And if you go back just a couple of months ago, these are literally a few hundred bucks, a couple hundred, few hundred dollars uh, for these PSA 9s. They've absolutely jumped. Now they're at $924 to $990 is what we're seeing on these PSA 9 Lillard rookie cards. But look, I mean, there's 265 of them. You know, think about all the basketball fans. I mean, think about, you know, Luka Doncic, a base rookie cards in a PSA 10, there's more than 12,000 of those. They're at $2,000. Lillard, there's only 265 of them. Um, or excuse me, there's 529 PSA 10s. There's 265 PSA 9s. I mean, Luca's got multiple, multiple, multiple more to go buy. You know, so if you're a Lillard fan or if you're now trying to get, they're just not out there. So scarcity is really what's, what's pushing these up, um, you know, in, in a huge way. So yeah, I'm just I'm curious to see where the pricing goes on these. I mean, Lillard obviously he's just been underrated. I I didn't take his card prices seriously. Obviously, I don't have any of his stuff. Uh, the only thing I've got of his I've got a 2016 Court Kings optic, like a Court Kings hollow, because um, it's first year optic. Uh, but outside of that, I might have I might have a, a handful of his cards, but not much, not much. I don't have any of his rookie cards. So now I'm gonna move over to the other set, the 2012 Select Rookie Cards, and this is another one where I feel like people are scrambling to find these, because again, if you look at pop reports, it's, it's shocking, it's absolutely shocking. PSA 10s, there's 60, there's only 60 PSA 10s. There's only 60, PSA 9s, 43. So literally, there's about 100 cards between PSA 9 and PSA 10 in existence for 2012 Select. And in my opinion, that 2012 Select card looks way cooler. If you're just talking about eye appeal, I would much rather have a 2012 Select PSA 10 than a Prism PSA 10. Now, as far as resale goes, of course, you know the, the, uh, the Prism is the one that's selling more now. But that Select card, take a look at that Select card. That is a sweet card. So if you look at PSA 9s, recently there's, and they actually, there's just not many of them out there. One sold on the 9th of August, uh, and it's a best offer from 200 bucks. So somebody actually, it looks like they got a pretty good, pretty good deal of steel for that PSA 9. And I looked it up on um, sellthepeak.com to get the offer price, and it said unknown. So it couldn't, it didn't know what the, what the actual buy price was. But, but again, if you look at, you try to go to past sales, go look at the 90 day sales on this, and there's just none to be found, because they're so rare. The PSA 10s now, there's, I found a couple sales there at about 1200 bucks, which makes sense. I mean, with the, with the Prism at $2,800, that PSA 10 uh, select at 1200 bucks is, feels like a value. Go back to the middle of July. July 9th and July 14th, there were sales, $149 and $169 for a PSA 10 select Lillard card. Man, those guys, that's that's like ten almost nine x nine x from a month ago. I mean, it's it's unbelievable. I'm, I'm kicking myself. But again, we're talking about you know these aren't hot rookies with you know these are actually veteran players that you know they got on a streak. And you look at where the pricing goes when when these guys get hot, they get on a streak. So it's it's interesting to me how just again how broad the market has gotten for cards. So that's Dame Lillard. Those are the only two cards I'm going to cover today on him. But what do you guys think about Lillard? Were you in on this all, all along? Do you, have you been collecting him? Have you been investing in Lillard? And I'm not even talking about his rookie cards, but also, you know, second year, um, you know, some of the newer optic prism stuff uh, that, that's come out for Lillard. Cause I'm sure that that's also seen a bump too. I'll have to take a look, do some more research on some of the newer sets, but let me know what you think of Lillard. I know a lot of you have been preaching Lillard to me for months 
and I've just kind of been like, yeah, yeah, you're right, you know, and but not making any buying decisions, and you are exactly right on Lillard. So kudos to you guys. Let me know what you think, um, and guys, we will see you again next time. Take care.